I just, I knew something was wrong the night of the explosion. I, I could, I could see it. I didn't, I didn't want to push Sam because she was already scared. And, you know, after I woke up from, from the surgery, I just, I kept asking for Robin, and I could see it on Sam's face that something was off. Sam was terrified. She was doing everything she could to save your life. Did you know that Robin went? She went back in the lab to get the drug she made for me. There's a 10 second delay on emergency. Yeah, she shouldn't have gone back. Robin shouldn't have died for me. Robin should be home with her daughter. You want me to say it should have been you? She had too much to live for, Elizabeth. If she would have just stopped for a second you know to think Robin. about what... Yes, she did this to save your life, but she would have done this for anyone. Because that's who she was. This is how she lived her life. I don't know what she would have done for anyone else. I only know what she did for me. It is not your fault that you got sick or you needed those drugs. It is not your fault that Robin made that choice. And none of this is Sam's fault. Jason, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for being alive. That's what Robin would want. Remember, your life is a gift. That's all you can do when you outlive somebody you love. I came here to say goodbye. I just, I don't, I don't even know where to start. <sighs> I know it feels like the hardest thing in the world, like you're giving up on Robin. And if you could just hold on to her for a little bit longer, then she won't really be gone. But that's not how it works. I know. I know it doesn't. God, maybe it would have been easier if you'd just been at the funeral. You could have had some sort of closure. Can you tell me about it? Can you tell me what I missed? was the first person to speak. He talked about Robin growing up. And then he told Emma something that he used to always say to Robin and that, that they're Scorpios and they can get through anything. Yeah, Robin would have liked that. And I said a little something. I was all a blur. I just wanted to tell everyone that I think she's irreplaceable. Did Sonny say anything? Yeah. Yeah, he talked about Stone and how sad he was that his friendship with Robin really suffered at the end. And he and Kate left right after that, probably out of respect to Patrick. How is, how is Patrick doing? He's struggling. being cremated. That's nothing you ever want to tell a child. So I had Robin's name written on a brick that we're putting in the courtyard at the hospital for Emma. She really liked that. Is Emma okay? She's confused. More than anything, she's just confused. You know, children don't... Children don't understand death. Jane died a year ago. Tomorrow. Jake used to love this place. What? I didn't... I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, we used to play at the park down the street. And then one day he spotted this bridge and he just begged me to bring him up here. He used to love to look over the edge at all of this rushing water. It would make me so nervous. He was a pretty fearless kid. Yeah. And he'd climb up on these, this railing and I would grip him so tight, but he'd just be smiling from ear to ear like this was the best place in the world. Oh, he was with his mom. Here makes me feel closer to him. Like he's almost within reach. 
thank you for telling me. Jake brought these home the last time we were on a walk up here. He used to like to throw them over the edge and watch them hit the water. And every time he would say, Mommy, do you think they'll make it to the ocean? What'd you tell him? Yeah, oh yeah, I told him. Absolutely, and they're not gonna stop until they get to where they need to be. Jake. Just hope you can feel how much we love you. <laughs>